in the news tonight, $100,000 one-off cash grant for each Guyanese 18 years and above. Of $100,000 to every citizen of Guyana 18 years and above as of the 1st of January 2024. With a simple means of verification, being possession of a national ballot identification card, and or a valid passport. And two arrested following shootout with the police in Kitty. You see him going down the door, and as soon as he opened the door, shot fire. And the police shot, start shooting back. So. President A. Finale today announced that each guy in his 18 years and above will receive a $100,000 one-off cash grant. This effectively scraps the $200,000 one-off cash grant per household, which was announced last Thursday in Parliament. The announcement was made during a live on Facebook and according to the president, the change was in direct response to feedback received on the concerns of Guyanese. That instead of the one-off cash grant of $200,000 to every household previously announced, my government will now expand this benefit by providing a one-off cash grant of $100,000 to every citizen of Guyana 18 years and above as of the 1st of January 2024 with a simple means of verification being possession of a national ballot identification card and or a valid passport. So fellow Guyanese, this measure is now aimed at reducing the risk, the complexities, the conflict that were previously alluded to by citizens in their outreach to the cabinet and in my personal engagement. Of course, this new measure of transferring $100,000 to every Guyanese 18 years and above and 18 years and, and above at a qualifying date of the 1st of January 2024 will cost well in excess of the $60 billion previously allocated for the one-off household grant. Presses the many concerns by young people who may not yet have a family, but who thought in their discourse with us that they will not benefit from the household allocation because they were not yet the head of the household. This new initiative will now take into consideration those persons and expand the benefit to those young professionals also. You also said that tuition fees will be abolished at all technical vocational institutes. That the tuition fees will also be ab abolished at all government technical and vocational training institutions, including all of the technical institutes, the Guyana Industrial Training Center, the Carnegie School of Home Economics, the Guyana School of Agriculture, all of these. The tuition fees will now be abolished. This measure will benefit an additional in excess of an additional 3,000 persons in our population. Former Finance Minister under the AP and UAFC Coalition Government Winston Jordan had suggested that every adult Guyanese resident in Guyana be given a $100,000 grant which removes all the challenges that could arise with the distribution of the $200,000 grant. Washi. Hi people. Washing made so easy since I found Washi. Washing me use wash me clothes and I can say. Wash is so powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash is so powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash is so powder, leave me clothes smelling nice, of course. So give thanks for wash is so powder for doing my laundry in right. Keep my clothes color bright. Have my clothes smelling nice for sure. I could not ask for more. Comes in lemon and original. It is a washing machine in a pack. Wash is so powder, wash clothes are nice. Wash is so powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash is so powder, have my clothes smelling nice, of course. Distributors located in the Starbrook market. It's here. Igloo ice cream fruit bars. Four mouth-watering flavors. Mango. Pineapple, strawberry, and soursop. A beautiful combination of real fruit and igloo ice cream. Go old school with fluty popsicle. Classic flavors and refreshing goodness. Available at igloo outlets and all your favorite shops.
Two men were taken into police custody following an exchange of gunshots with the police this morning in Danra Street Kitty. The shooting reportedly stemmed from the theft of an XR motorcycle. The motorcycle has a tracking device and the police traced the location. While the police were at the house and attempting to gain access to the bottom flat, gunshots rang out. Neighbors recounted the incident. Police come and ask. Um, they say they're between one, two yards. In the home and the bike get thief. The bike get um, track on it. So, but he track the track into this location. But he got on the passageway and when he got on the passageway, the house downstairs and the back. They um, go and the lock up in there, he knock in. They ain't coming out, we see him break down the door, and as soon as he opened the door, shot fire. And the police shot, start shooting back. I can't really tell you too much of that. I know he went, and the police come and ask, they said they're tracking for some bike. I tell them I don't know because no bike is there, the, um, every bike at the club or, you know, different time. I can't really tell if he's here or when I hear a bike. I understand. So they go downstairs and they was checking for the bike. And then I hear ba 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 and that was it. I don't know what's happened. But they come and address themselves as police. I like it ba 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 Then I, then they shot the police. When the police say shot being fire, shot being fire, back up, back up. Then I say, oh, like, the guy shoot out. I was on the phone. The police recovered a Glock, an air gun, and a stolen motorcycle. While the men were being escorted to the police vehicle, one of the bandits shouted. Some of the windows of the house were shattered and bullet holes were seen on one of the windows. Residents said they were forced to lie low for a couple of minutes. When the gunshots ended, many of them ventured outside to get a better view of what transpired. The police recovered several spent shells at the scene. The police investigations are ongoing. With 70% ethyl alcohol, Mighty Foam Hand Sanitizer eliminates 99.99% .99 of all germs and even moisturizes in the process, leaving your skin clean and hydrated. Mighty Foam Hand Sanitizer, how do you stay clean? Months after probe was launched into money laundering accusations against Assistant Commissioner of Police Calvin Brutus, charges are now being recommended. The charges came after Soku in a press statement said critical information was received by Soku from the Financial Intelligence Unit. It was explained by Soku that a new and more expansive investigation was conducted by Soku and dozens of charges were recommended. That investigation concluded on the 1st of October and the relevant files were sent to the Director of Public Prosecutions for review and advice and further action. Soku now awaits the legal advice from the Director of Public Prosecutions. It was alleged that Brutus attempted to launder millions of dollars into the Police Credit Union. However, Soku noted that at the end of that initial investigation based on the advice of the Director of Public Prosecutions, no criminal charges were recommended. When the allegations surfaced, Brutus requested leave to allow for an investigation. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website www.rdproductiongy.com.